Howdy people, Bill Gailey from the Mad Scientist Lab again. Been working on a lot of projects lately and I'm to the point where I'm going to have to reorder uh, a number of things to stock back up. I've noticed what other people are getting into or what they need to supply their own Mad Scientist Lab. I wanted to give you guys a, a few suggestions on things that I use and recommend. First of all, you know, one of the most important things that you can have for working on electronics is you need a good soldering iron and there's something about a Weller soldering iron that is just far superior to every other one that I've used. The tips seem to last forever. Weller soldering iron. I particularly like this one because when it's plugged in, it has these LED lights and it lights up what you're trying to heat up. And having a little extra light on the situation really helps. Another thing... When you're just getting started out, I mean, you, you kind of need a little bit of everything. You know, I needed to get a whole bunch of resistors and capacitors, and I found these kits, Joe Knows Electronics. This is a capacitor kit. It's got 30 pieces of common values. They all come in these little envelopes. It has the value written out there. That winds up being really handy. You only have a few parts, putting them in a plastic bag is not that bad. Same thing with the resistors. Now I've taken the resistors out of their bags. Same thing, that's like a 470 ohm. Here's a 2.2K envelope. What I did, I took all the resistors out of the bags and I put them in sliding tray, took some mailing labels and just wrote the values down. So I got three different resistor values in each shelf. Keeping the parts organized like that really, really does help. What else? The helping hand, because, uh, you know, they have the weighted base and then they have these, you know, alligator clip kind of arms. Yeah, so it even has this sort of groovy magnifying glass. See, now you can see me. Anyway, these things are great. Right there it says Radio Shack, made in China. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is something I always seem to forget about. Wire. I go through so much of this stuff. What was this? This was 24 gauge solid wire. And as these things have emptied out, I've refilled them with some stranded wire. Yeah, so I got some 24 gauge stranded wire. You know, and this came with a set that had yellow, blue, orange, green. Having a bunch of wire like this when you're making circuits or when you're prototyping stuff, really handy to have something like that. So I got resistors, capacitors, wire, uh, soldering iron, helping hand. What else? Radio Shack 6040 rosin core solder. Old habits die hard. This is the stuff that I started using, you know, back when I was like 10 years old. I don't know. It, it has such a, a wonderful flow to it. It still uses a lead and, and tin. It's just that it has a little bit more lead than some of the modern solder does. But it flows so beautifully. The soldering iron doesn't get hot enough to vaporize the lead. This is just stuff I know that works. So I wanted to pass on those suggestions to you. Bill Gailey, signing off from the Mad Scientist Lab, and um, have some fun setting up your own. Hmm. If there's one thing a mad scientist needs, it's a way to look at things extremely close up. Mad Scientist. Hmm. Yeah, now we're talking. <laughs>